Hey guys, so we're going to look at uh, an SEL framework that we've been using in the district in a number of schools already. If you've seen any of my talks or trainings on resilience, it's that Webs of Support IYD Integrative Youth Development Framework. Um, and it hits on all the SEL stuff that we want to be hitting on. It's simple. And it's uh, some things that you can use if you're a teacher. You can send home to make sure you're hitting those SEL requirements while we're uh, working at home. If you're a parent, this is some really good stuff that you can have some conversations with your kids that makes sense. That's making that's making sure that we're also hitting the social and emotional learning on top of the academic as well. So I'm going to explain it here in this video and then I'll follow up with uh, some uh, Word documents that you can follow along and do some homework each week. So the first step in this framework is love, that essential ingredient that we all need. It's part of humanity. We need it to survive and thrive. We know that uh, the more we have of it, the better we're going to uh, work our way through life. The less we have, the harder it's going to be. So up here in the corner, we got that love. However, love is a bit tricky when we're looking at uh, making the scientists happy or the people of science because it's hard to measure. We know it's important, but it's hard to quantify. So we have to figure out a way we can take that love, that essential ingredient we need for all of us to survive and thrive, and how do we put that into scientific terms? So if we take the love and we say, you know what, maybe it's like the sun, right? The sun radiates warmth, love radiates warmth. And if we take that sun and we say, okay, well, drop the sun through the prism of science to make sure the scientists are happy and that we can quantify this, what happens when we put light through a prism? We get the color spectrum. We get Roy G Biff. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Each color means something in this story. And like I said, this is meant to really take maybe the complexity of resilience and some of that social emotional learning and make it really easy to understand for our kids for ourselves and so on. And once we get it, then we can actually apply it a little bit better. So red is the first one, which we call the rule of five. And what this means is, if you imagine that all of us have an invisible web underneath us, this web of support, that the thicker it is, the more likely we're gonna bounce back when life knocks us down. The thinner it is, the more likely we're gonna fall through the cracks. It's made up of really important adults in our lives that we call anchors. And five seems to be the magic number that can grow a really good thick web of support. Like I said, we call these people anchors. And what they do is they provide the strings in the web, which we call tangible and intangible. supports. These are things tangible are like food, water, clothing, transportation, financial means, um, school, an actual school building, ease of reading, ease of math, things that we can touch, feel, or measure. So think tangible, tangerine, you could touch a tangerine, it's a tangible support, intangible, are those invisible supports that we get from those key anchors that are like love, trust, compassion, honesty, integrity, uh, support, and so on. The list can go on and on. And we get these strings from key adults. The really cool thing is that in some, for some kids, it may be mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, uncle, predominantly biological. For some kids, it may be teacher, teacher, coach, neighbor, and pastor, or someone from the faith-based community. Probably for most of our kids, it's a little bit of both. It's a hybrid. Could be mom, dad, dad's best friend, coach, and teacher. It really doesn't matter who the anchor is. What matters is that kids have opportunities to have anchors. And if they don't have enough, how can we get more in their lives? Get more protective factors or tangible and intangible supports. Build that web of support underneath them. Green is what we call growing the balloon. 
And what this is, the balloon is the metaphor for the kid. The balloon sits on top of that web, and the bigger the balloon is, less likely it's gonna fall through the cracks. The smaller it is, the more likely it will. The good news is most of our kids, we'll do it up here. The good news is the majority of our kids out there are average sized balloons. So they're pretty resilient. And that's, that's true in all the resilience work we do. Um, everybody is, most people are quite innately resilient. About 10% of people out there, adults and kids included, are really big balloons. They're super resilient. They can bounce back with less strings. And then about 10% of kids out there are smaller balloons and they really need to make sure they have a good support network. We don't want to get tied up too much on looking, are, are we big, medium, or small balloon? The thing is, all of us, regardless of our balloonness, we need a good, healthy support network underneath us. Blue is what we call Scissors cuts. Scissors cuts are actions or behaviors that are in our control or sometimes they're out of our control that cut holes in our web that maybe put a little bit of distance between us and our anchors. And it could be things like not wearing a seatbelt, not wearing a helmet if you're driving a bicycle or a skateboard or an ATV. Um, it could be taking drugs at a young age, could be divorce, breakup, whatever. There's things that happen that are scissor cuts and what they do is they put holes in our web. Now this is a strength based model. So we want people to think, not focus just in on those, really, really dial in on the scissor cuts. We say, okay, you know what? If we can change the scissor cuts, great. Some, some of them we can't. Let's get more people, more anchors, throwing more webs, strings, and building that web thicker. And that's how we can patch up some of those scissor cuts. Indigo is what we call caring for the carers. Indigo is caring for the carers, just in case you didn't hear me when I was turning there. So there's two parts to this. One is, if this is my anchor, I hope that he has, he or she, has their five Anchors for anchors. We hope that as parents, as teachers, make sure you're webbed up because it's the best thing to do. If you live it, you can give it. If you know it, you can grow it with someone else. The other piece is when we work with anyone, kids, adults, whoever, teachers, once you kind of identify who your anchors are, maybe it's Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so, a teacher, a coach, a neighbor, a mom and a dad, let's throw some positivity, some gratitude back towards them. It makes that relationship super tight. It makes that web really tight. And when life does hit and knock us down and we get some scissor cuts, we've got a good support network to make us bounce back. Finally, social norms. Social norms are the things that are accepted as normal in the home, school, or community. Some of them can be positive social norms. And think of positive social norms as a nice breeze that moves in. It actually lifts that web up further from risk factors and, and further and makes it less likely the kids will fall through the cracks. There can be, there also can be negative social norms, which are like tornadoes. These are things that are happening at home, school, and the community that are very destructive. It could be living in an abusive home. Uh, not having enough love at home, if you're going to a school where you don't feel safe, if you live in a community where taking illicit drugs is accepted as normal. These can be social norms that can be very destructive or can be very positive. If you live in a home where love is a, a normal thing, um, appropriate screen time is a normal thing, education is, is held in high regard. If you go to a school where you feel safe and loved and cared about, if you live in a community where there's a lot of connectedness, those can be very powerful. We try not to dwell too much on the negatives unless we have power to change them. Amplify the positive, build that web, get that, those webs further away from risk factors, and then it'll make our life a little bit better. So this is the webs of support framework. 
Um, the goal is really to think about it. I mean, I'm going to send out some homework each week. It'll be in a Word document form. And I would ask you though, maybe to come back and watch the video a couple times, really get your head wrapped around it, have some conversation with your kids. If you're a parent, if you're a teacher, if you're an administrator, think about your own web as well. It's a good gratitude practice, um, empathy practice to think about your own web, who do you have in your life? And then also uh, think about the young ones in your lives, have that conversation and then go from there. So thanks a lot. If you have any questions, reach out to me. My information will be below.